The Ukraine war. Huge tankers transferring Russian oil blocked by activists in kayaks. Here's a summary of the article. Two tankers off the coast of Denmark were blocked from transferring 100,000 tons of Russian oil by environmental activists in kayaks and small boats. They placed themselves in kayaks and RHIB boats, nestled in between the Sea Oath and Pertamina Prime tankers near Frederikshavn, Denmark, preventing the ship-to-ship -ship oil transfer. Olga Lupolina, one of the dozen activists camping out at sea, and a Russian herself, said, Together with other activists from across Europe, I am using my body to get in the way of the tanker. I'm with Greenpeace Denmark, and we have been protesting fossil fuels for years. I always knew that oil fuels war as well as the climate crisis. Birgitta Lezana of Greenpeace Nordic told Sky News, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has made many people realize that fossil fuels do not only ruin the climate, our dependency on oil, coal, and gas, but also fosters wars, conflict, and injustice. Every time Russian oil or gas is purchased, Putin's war chest grows and so far, at least 299 supertankers with fossil fuels have left Russia since the start of the war in Ukraine. That is plain wrong. Update. Activists have now spent a night at sea sleeping in a small raft while blocking two oil tankers from new attempts to transfer Russian oil at sea in Danish waters. This post received a score of 27,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greenpeace has a massive opportunity here. The fuel crisis with Russia can easily be leveraged to accelerate the Western world's transition to renewable energy. The political will is there, and governments are definitely recalculating the costs and re-analyzing their opportunities. With the right pressure, the right lobbying and the right solutions presented to the right people at the right levels, Greenpeace could make a major breakthrough in their goals. I imagine they're getting tons of good PR from this article alone. I read the article but I don't understand how a few kayaks can stop an oil tanker. Wouldn't the Russians just run right over them? Technically yeah, but if the oil tankers were already anchored they're not maneuverable quickly enough to do much of anything. Plus, if Russian oil tankers were to begin killing citizens, that would be met with consequences they couldn't fathom. Ships would be met with consequences they couldn't fathom. Hey, nice one. Question mark. It's a joke with depth. In a league of its own. I wouldn't say it holds water. I thought the response was watertight. After 24 hours of obstruction, the activists were forcefully removed by police and the ship-to-ship -ship oil transfer went on as normal. Good effort. For what it's worth, I looked up the ships involved. Appears to be one Suez Max and one VLCC. These will both have been chartered under contracts providing for demurrage charges for extended lay times, time spent at the discharge port. I would estimate tilde dollar 120-150k in combined demurrage for 24 hours of delay for the two ships based on their size and where the market has been. Edit. Could have been much worse as I've heard ship owners are asking a premium for Russian cargoes. That's not much in the grand scheme of things. You're right. But it's also $150,000 they can't spend on weapons now. So that's nice. Wow nice to see Greenpeace putting a horse in this race. Footnote. After 24 hours of obstruction, the activists were forcefully removed by police and the ship-to-ship -ship oil transfer went on as normal. That's quite a bit of revenue lost. And the next one will need to change locations, probably more lost money. The pictures don't show them slowing anything down. Looks like they were just following it on its route in kayaks that can't damage, or affect the trajectory of a tanker. Would be nice to hear it actually made a difference, but I highly doubt that it did. At some point, the only way to stop a military insurgence is with a counter force from military groups. Russia doesn't in any way care about protesters don't extend past vocality. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.